Hello, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your continued support and I really appreciate it. In today's video, I'm gonna show you 10 pair of shoes that I recently purchased for the summer, hence my shoe haul. All right, let's get started. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to a new member of our family. Her name is Sister. Um, I named her Sister because she's going to be by my side for the rest of my life. She or someone just like her. Uh huh. <laughs> Why are you laughing, honey? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I purchased her from Neat and Sleek. Uh, she was not cheap, I think over $200, but listen, you get to choose your wig size cap. Mine is a small and my head is teeny tiny, so yeah, it fits and I had to tighten up some more, but isn't she cute though? Isn't she cute? Now, I have this little swoop right here and the hair down on the side because I did not glue my edges down like young girls do because, you know, I have to ride my bicycle in the morning at 4.30 because I, I need to keep myself together. You know, when you're 25, 18, 19, 30 years old, um, you can glue your edges because you don't have to take your wig off because you don't have to go to the gym because your muscles are not melting off your body. You know, say you like hit different around 49, yes it does. So I need to keep myself uh, exercised or get keep my muscles tight and firm, as tight and as firm as they're gonna ever be at 49, but yeah. So my edges are not slicked down, that's, that's why my hair's cool. But she still look cute. Yes yeah, she does. Anyway, okay, let's get started. We, we came here for the shoes. So I'm gonna show you my shoes. I'm gonna go by category or the stores. Did that phone just, what? what? So before I get started, I know I just did a video recently saying make sure you purchase quality over quantity for your wardrobe pieces. But once you've gotten your wardrobe, to where you need it to be, to which I pretty much have. Then you can go out and you can purchase things that you like based on the fact that you just like them, regardless of the price. And sometimes they're not gonna be of highest quality and that's okay, cause you're, you'll wear them and be done with them when they're, they break down unlike high quality pieces. But So some of these shoes are very, very inexpensive, which is really nice. So if I go on vacation and I wear them or my luggage gets lost, it's okay. I didn't spend a ton of money on them, but I still really like them. So. That's why I purchased them. The first pair of shoes are these turquoise slides from Zara. Are they, I guess they're not turquoise. They're like a Carolina, perfect Carolina blue. Carolina blue slides from Zara. I really like this gold buckle detail. It makes it look like it's really expensive. The quality is really nice. It has a little piece of gold, or I'm sure it's not gold. Uh, piece of this detail here it makes it just look really nice. It has a little cushion to it. I paid uh, $25 for these on sale, on sale. Yes. These are really cute. The second pair of shoes I purchased from Zara as well. And they are these black and white look kind of kitten heel shoes. These are so cute. These will go with so many outfits. You can wear them with this white dress that I'm wearing them with, some white jeans or some black jeans or a black dress. They're almost like a neutral color because you're gonna have your black here and then you're gonna have your flesh tone, whatever your flesh tone is. For me, that's chocolate. It's gonna show here. They're easy, they're just gonna slide on. They're fashionable. They're just really cute. They have a nice, not a square square toe, which is trendy right now. It has a, a rounded square toe, which this pretty much this detail, this style detail is gonna be on trend or be in style for decades to come. So these I thought were very, very cute. I also purchased these on sale and they were $25 also. Let me stop and say that uh, I purchased these shoes probably over a month and a half to two month time frame for the summer. So some of these shoes, unfortunately, are no longer available. These aren't, and these aren't. I went on the Zara website and I could not find either one. But I got them both on sale for like $25. Great buys, yes. The third pair of shoes are these chartreuse sandals 
from Shein. Are they not cute? They're very dainty. This daisy here, and it has like a raffita bow here, or it looks to be raffita, I think it's plastic. But these shoes are $20. And I don't think they were on sale. I just thought they were very cute. They'd be nice, something to slide into if you go on vacation, if you're starting to go on vacation, if you're just out and you're walking about. The color is beautiful, they're unique. It has this cute little toe detail here. They're square, but still not too square. If you have a narrow foot, these are not gonna be the shoes for you. I have an average size foot. My foot is not wide or narrow, and they fit just like perfectly. If my foot were a tiny bit smaller, they just kind of slide through. These are very, very cute. Very cute. The fourth pair of shoes are these white sandals from Shein as well. These are absolutely adorable. They look better in person than they actually look on the website. Look at this, I don't know if you can see this, this cushion here. This hump of cushion here has a nice flat heel, but it's not too flat. It has just a little bit of rise here. It also has the rounded square toe. These are beautiful. They're white, so they're gonna be very versatile. You can wear these with just about anything. They're gonna be a staple in my wardrobe for the entire summer leading into early fall. The fifth pair of shoes are these slides by Gian Vito Rossi. Is that how I, did I pronounce it correct, honey? Sounds good, honey. Okay. These are Italian made from Milan. And so they were probably the most, yeah, I think they were the most expensive out of all the shoes. And I purchased these on sale as well. But I just app, just app, just app. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely fell in love with the color. It's just, they're just beautiful. This color reminds me of a dress that I wore to the prom when I was in high school. This color was really, really popular. I think it used to be popular for wedding colors as well, but it just looks so chic and just, I love the cut of the shoe. They look like a pair of shoes that my grandmother actually used to wear, but I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. These just, I think, if you can find this shoe, it runs a tad bit small, so make sure you get your size or go up a size. When I went online to look for them, I couldn't find them anymore, but if you can find them, make sure you get a half a size larger or minimum your actual size. Usually I go down half a size when I have open toe shoes, but um, these barely made the cut. They're just stunning. Just the blue is just bright and vibrant. And let me just stop and say, when I get my, sh when I purchase my shoes, if they're silk or any sort of fabric, particularly if the fabric is white. Anytime I purchase a pair of fabric shoes, I take them out the box, make sure that I can wear them, make sure they feel right, make sure the size is correct, and that I'm gonna actually keep the shoes. Then I take them outside and immediately spray them with fabric protected. So all of my shoes, all of, my, all of them, all of my shoes have um, fabric sealant on them. I, I do that before I wear them even once. You want to do that. The worst thing that can happen is that you have a really nice pair of shoes like this and you go out to eat and you spill wine or someone spills a drink on your shoes. It would absolutely just ruin the shoe. There's there's no saving. So I spray and um, put fabric protected on all of my fabric shoes. If you've been watching my videos for a while and hopefully you have, then you've noticed some new shoes on my shoe rack. And if you have, you've noticed these lovelies that I got these because I could not decide which pair of polka dot shoes I wanted. If you've been watching my videos again, you know that one of my favorite designer shoe companies is Gianni Beanie. Do these not look like Gianni Beanies? They are just beautiful. So I could decide between these and pair number seven, these, so I bought them both. Yes, and I'm glad I did because these shoes are primarily white and they're slides, they look different, the cut is different, the design is different. And the other shoes are primarily black with white polka dots. So these will go with some outfits that the other pair will not, although they're the same black and white polka dot. I absolutely love these shoes. Shoe number seven is this lovely Miss Lady right here. Look at her. She is talking all day long. Oh my God, she's beautiful. So you've seen my other yellow 
Gianni, honey, can you hear my, hand me, hand me uh, one of those shoes right there. So if you've seen these, it's her cousin. <laughs> They're cousins, same shoe design, just different colors. This, so I, I knew I would love these. I knew they would fit well. I knew they would wear well. So it was just a matter of did I like the color or not. And I mean, how could you not like, how could you not like this? Oh my God. This is the like Lucille Ball. I love that era anyway. But this just, oh my God, look at this shoe. She's just classy and elegant. You can wear this with any solid color dress, whether it be yellow, red, blue, green, orange, or you can wear it with a white dress or a, a black dress. You can just wear this with so many different styles and concepts. Yes. So shoe number eight, nine, and 10 are actually from the same company. They're just different colors of the same shoe. And the reason I purchased these shoes, <laughs> is because when I read all, I did go through the reviews, and listen, when you hit around 40 something, you're gonna stop wearing those four or five inch heels. Your ankles are just sitting a little bit different after 40 than they did at 30. You just wanna feel a little bit sturdy, you wanna be a little closer to the ground, these shoes a little bit over three inches, I think three and a quarter, which is a perfect height. So they still look like a pair of heels. They're still pretty, still still dainty, ladylike, and they're and they're still and they're, yet they're beautiful. These shoes I purchased from Saks Fifth Avenue on sale, forty percent off. So I think I paid about they're normally a hundred dollars. So I paid sixty dollars a piece for them, and I love the yellow, of course to get the yellow because why not <laughs> and I love the red it's not a bright bright it's not a blue red it's more of a pinky red and it's patent but they're just beautiful you, you you can't go wrong this shoe is timeless it will be in style forever and I really like this snake print because for me this is more of a neutral color it has some black in it, it has some brown in it. It goes well with my skin tone, which means I can wear this with any color, not necessarily any print. It might clash with maybe a polka dot print, but as far as wearing it with any color, it would definitely match any color in my wardrobe. So why not? I absolutely love all three pair and I will get a lot of wear out of these. So now that you know that Gianni Beanie is one of my absolute favorite shoe brands, what are your favorite shoe brands? Or what is your favorite shoe style? Some people just love sneakers, some people love flats, some people love heels. I love them all. But let me know what your favorite shoe brand is. Maybe I can go online and see what they're talking about. Thank you so much, family. That is it for this video. I really appreciate you stopping by and spending some of your time with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified each week when I upload new videos. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Yes, honey. They're both the same. They definitely are not. They're both polka dots. Listen, that's black with white polka dots and that's white with black polka dots. Is the zebra white with black stripes or black with white stripes? Get yourself together now. I don't need two, two zebras. If you're hungry enough, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you need one to ride and one to eat. <laughs>